Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome back. Uh, today we are out in the garden. I just wanted to show you guys real quickly some of the things that are going on out here right now before we get into the whole process of clearing out all this stuff and putting in a vegetable garden and the cut flower garden and everything for summer. Um, I have a lot of hardy annuals blooming right now and some biennials, things like that that we planted last year that are eventually going to have to come out of the garden so that we can plant other stuff. So I wanted to show you guys those real quickly. Sorry for the video on this one. I'm still getting used to it. I, I borrowed a different camera from someone and I'm um, still kind of getting used to it. Trying to figure out the settings with, you know, the editing stuff and all that. I'm not the most computer savvy person in the world. I will be the first one to admit that. Also, I've been having a lot of trouble with audio lately. Hopefully this audio isn't too bad. Um, that's something I'm going to be fixing soon, too. So I've just got a whole list of things that I need to fix. But getting right into this, a lot of my biennials are finally blooming. And, of course, for each of the biennials, um, I'll put a name of them up on the screen when they come on. Because I don't know what order I'm going to put this in. I'm probably just going to put it in the order that I kind of just recorded it in. If you remember, we planted these biennials last year in June. And a lot of them have, uh, you know grown really well through the winter and are starting to bloom and now things like the Siberian wallflower which are this really bright almost practically kind of neon orange these are looking really cool uh, looking really good they're I think they're fragrant I think that these put out a really nice fragrance kind of in the evening and night but I'm not quite sure that it's the Siberian wallflower putting out a fragrance because they're in a mixed flower bed and there's tons of different stuff blooming so if you've grown this and noticed that it smells nice tell me in the comments so i can figure out what it is that is smelling so nicely in my flower bed please in addition to wallflower i still have a lot of the lovely things like the johnny jump ups and of course i have the pansies and of course i have the anemones that are still blooming this is the anemone coronaria it's these varieties the blue one is like mr fokker and the other one is sylphide, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'm pretty sure I'm right, though. And uh, they're just, you know, continuing to bloom. I, uh, I haven't been deadheading them at all. Yes, you can see the flower. The spent flowers are making seeds. Sometimes you can see it. They look kind of scraggly, but I just, you know, I haven't been cutting them. There hasn't really been enough for me to start cutting them. So it's not something that was high up on my priority list, honestly. Um, the ranunculus have also started to bloom, which is really great because I was kind of worried about the ranunculus this year. They are really late, comparatively speaking, to, um, you know, when they've bloomed in the past. For whatever reason, they just took a little bit longer to bloom this year, and that could just be a result of the fact that our winter was so cold. I guess it could also be a result of the fact that, um, you know, I interplanted it pretty thickly with a bunch of other stuff. So your guess is really as good as mine on that one. Uh, other stuff that is in the garden, I have a lot of uh, the hardy annuals, I have some forget-me-nots coming in to bloom, as well as some of the German chamomile. All this stuff is going to get taken out, which is, you know, regrettable, but um, just the, the water in the backyard earlier in the season just really did a lot of this stuff in, so I don't think it's worth, you know, waiting for just like a couple plants to bloom, so I'm probably going to go ahead and take some of these out so it is what it is uh, there's also a lot of first-time plants blooming in the garden which is so exciting because um, I'm definitely one of those people who yeah, I'm kind of a pessimist when I plant things I, I don't have a lot of faith that they're gonna grow I don't know why but usually when I plant a seed especially when I plant a seed for something that's new and something that I've never grown before I automatically think well there's no way this is gonna grow and there's no way this is gonna bloom uh, this is especially true with some of the newer biennials that I grew this year, or short-lived perennials, um, whichever, whichever you want to call them. I planted a lot of things that were completely new to me. Among those were things like columbines, uh, cathedral bells, nope, I get them confused every time, canterbury bells, um, bells of Ireland, technically not a biennial, I think it's technically a hardy annual, um, verbascum don't know if that's how you say it. Anyway, I, I am so pleasantly surprised 
to see that the verbascum is growing so well. These things look so cute. They are so just adorable. I love the colors. I love the flower spikes. Um, they are a little bit short, I think, um, personally. But I asked somebody on Instagram, I can't remember who it was, and they kind of alluded to the fact that the verbascum behaved like a short-lived perennial and it came back a second year. So I'm going to transplant these. When I fill up this bed, I'm going to transplant these verbascum somewhere else. And maybe, who knows, uh, maybe next year these will be really tall. So definitely not disappointed in it. I mean, especially since I planted it and I got a flower. How could I be disappointed, right? Uh, as far as things like the Canterbury Bells, I have no clue. I have no clue if any of those overwintered. I haven't seen any signs of those yet. Your guess is as good as mine. For I have seen some amazing progress with the columbines. Our first columbine flower is going to open very soon and I am so excited. I've never grown columbine before. This is the first time. Uh, I think in this video it hadn't even opened yet. I just couldn't wait to show you guys. I think this variety is the McKenna Giants variety just a real basic one that you can find you know pretty much anywhere I didn't want to spend the money to invest in a columbine that was going to be expensive because I didn't know how successful I would be that's kind of like you know how I do things it's like if it's the first time I'm growing something I will you know actively seek out the cheapest version of that that I can find to first make sure that I know how to grow it and then the next season I'll just like ooh, what kind of pretty variety you know kind of go for the more expensive varieties that are, you know, a little bit prettier, fancier. Uh, just, I like to have at least that, you know, kind of one year of experience under my belt before I go totally crazy. Page with the uh, biennial flowers also have some dames rocket coming into bloom. These are so cute. Uh, I think these can be invasive in some places, so always uh, check, check it out. Check out where you live, all that good stuff. But, uh, these are super tall. Um, I planted these again in June from seed. Super easy to grow from seed. Uh, super easy to transplant. Uh, really nice, just lovely purple color. I feel like this is probably going to go with a lot of different things. I'm really loving these purples and blues and pinks in this little patch. I mean, the orange Siberian wallflowers in the middle of the patch kind of, you know, they kind of stick out a little bit. Um, but these purples and pinks, I think these will look really, really nice in a flower bed together. As I mentioned, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen that I've started the process of planting out the vegetable garden. So these videos are a little kind of like, you know, behind, but I I'm trying to keep them up to date as much as possible. I think I might do a whole week of videos here, uh, depending on how much time I have. So we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, a lot of seeds that we planted in cardboard boxes are germinating. Uh, cardboard boxes aren't the best way to start seeds. They get soggy really quick and they start to fall apart. However, you can do it if you're desperate and you're on a budget, and I was, so I did, and it worked. It worked out fine. I just scoop out the seeds out of it. Um, I don't recommend it per se, but I'm not against it either. Also, I managed to plant my corn the other day. You guys will probably see this in a video also. I tried to make a video of me crawling around on the ground planting the garden out, but I just, I just, I don't know. I don't know. It was hard to plant the garden out and to make a video at the same time because it's just so much work to get done. Anyway, uh, oh, oh yeah, and this cardinal bird has been eaten my corn like I planted corn this happens every year I planted corn and sunflowers in this bed and this cardinal bird is just spinning here eating everything and he doesn't even care that I'm like outside right next to him he just looks at me like do something Ontario but uh, you'll see he's missing a lot of feathers which is kind of weird I was just like dude what happened to you um, I googled it he's missing feathers all over his face but I googled it and it turns out maybe he just has an unusual molting pattern, which I was never seen before. So I was like, go ahead, buddy. You can you can eat some corn. It's fine. It's fine. It looks like you, you need the corn. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm weird. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Hopefully it was somehow helpful. I'm not quite sure if it was. If it was, be sure to subscribe. I would absolutely love to have you. Uh, making new videos on the regular, or at least trying to, trying to keep up with everything in the garden. Also, be sure to click on that little bell thing right there. If you do choose to subscribe, it'll tell you when I upload a new 
video because sometimes YouTube doesn't even bother to tell people I uploaded a new video. So um, it's whatever. And also, if you're new, uh, all my videos are going to be 10 minutes from now on, even if it has to be 10.01 because, you know, I've been really, really, really paying attention to the analytics reports and uh, it just appears that YouTube encourages videos that are over 10 minutes and I get a lot more views when they are over 10 minutes. So, we're just going to do it that way. Sorry. Sorry if you don't like long videos. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So, I would love it if you would share with your friends. I hope y'all are having an amazing day. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.